Oh, hello everyone. I hope you're all well. Um, it's Susie here from Esoteric Trading Solutions. Um, just want to talk about the news of uh, Ripple and XRP. The last time I did the news update, it was from um, basically, what was it from? Let me just move myself here. From the 8th of August to the 9th of September. So I thought I'd um, just rehash the news from the 9th of September through to December the 10th. And um, basically, there's so much there, just exactly what's come out. We keep a database at Esoteric Trading Solutions for all our major cryptocurrencies. So we keep all the, the articles and everything else. But before I start, <coughs> excuse me, I'd like to say, please look after yourself. Please be well. Please look after your family, uh, your friends. Be good to yourself. Be kind to family and friends. Be good and kind to your animals. Uh, please be kind to just generally people in the world to make this world a better place. So I thought I'd just uh, also just want to remind you, we've got the Kickstarter campaign still going. It's got 20 days to go. And I did I did forget a couple of people, sorry, from last time. I want to thank Elliot for his kind donation. Uh, I want to thank Sam for his kind donation. Um, and I did say Ricky and um, Susan and a few other people, Saxon and Danny. So thank you very much, guys, for that and girls. I really appreciate it. It would be great if um, we could get more contributions because if we don't, by the end of December, we have to give all that money back and the course doesn't go forward. So that would be very appreciative if you could support us on that. So um, just uh, go through the, the data, the information that's come out with uh, Ripple and XRP for the last uh, three months. And, and again, there's been so much of it. I'm probably going to have to split this up into a couple of presentations. So just bear with me. I do try to make these quick and simple, but it always uh, goes a bit longer than, than I anticipate. So um, just going forward, as I said, this will be from the 10th of September to the 4th of uh, October, and we, we went up to the 9th of September last time. So I'm probably going to do this every couple of months. Uh, so basically in the news, uh, we know that American Express was piloting X Current with, um, with Ripple and basically looking to integrate with Omni. Uh, also, C CEO explains that XRP uh, is not a security. So this is just a rehash pretty much of all the news that we've seen in the past couple of months. And I like to do this, obviously, to look at the fundamentals of Ripple and to look at the fundamentals of XRP to make sure that nothing's changed in terms of my uh, investments and in terms of my fundamentals, that everything's still what I expect it to be uh, going forward. And if anything, um, Ripple and XRP fundamentals getting better and better, as, you, as you'll see with all all the hash of the news that you would have heard over the last couple of months. But I like to, to look at it to make sure that my investment is still the right investment, and it certainly is as far as I'm concerned for me. Uh, this is not financial advice. It's financial education. Uh, I don't know your risk tolerance or anything like that. But, um, you know, again, uh, I, I, I do like to look at stories and to make sure that I'm uh, for my own my own investing, that's for sure. So basically, um, the next one is the third one. We've got, uh, you know, uh, Brad Garlinghouse saying that, um, you know, XRP is not a security, obviously. And we've got Michael Harrington saying that uh, XRP is fantastic. If you remember rightly, Michael Harrington of his own fund moved 50 billion of XRP and it only cost him 30 cents. Uh, sorry, it was 50 million, I should say, and it only cost him 30 cents US. Now, if he'd done that with Swift or anything else, it would have cost him thousands and thousands of dollars, okay? Uh, the story about Ripple uh, being a competitor of Stellar's or vice versa, but it is pretty silly when you think about it. Even the uh, co-founder, Jed McCallum of Stellar, said that they're not uh, competitors. And for a fact, if you know the technology of Ripple and you know the technology of Stellar, they are nowhere near competitors. I mean, Ripple has much more hardware, much more software than Stellar, has a lot more nodes, much more decentralized, has many, many, many more partners and many, 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 many more clients. So in my mind, the two are not competitors. If anything, Ripple will outperform Stellar on every ground and every level because they have more and more clients, more and more revenue coming into the tin and more and more partners. As we know and as we think, Stellar's probably got IBM, but IBM are looking at their own blockchain. They're looking at their own integration. They've got deep pockets and they could eat up a Stellar overnight. So just because, you know, you know, Stella has one potential client, which could be potentially a partner, which is very different. Clients and partners are different. And I want to really say that again, you pay clients. Clients basically pay for the technology. Partners do things with you 
and you don't pay, you know, you, you may, you know, do something with a partner, but they're not a client. They don't pay you revenue. So Ripple's clients pay them revenue. A big distinction between partners and clients, okay? Really big distinction. Even the financial press gets it wrong. You know, if it's a client, they say a partner, but it's not. A client that uses a technology pays Ripple money. Uh, a partner may not necessarily do that, okay? So Ripple, uh, again, is saying that, uh, you know, again, um, uh, RBC Kuwait Financial House, uh, they look like they're doing, uh, you know, they've taken on XRP as well, uh, sorry, XCurrent, I should say. Royal Bank of Canada, uh, they're looking at Ripple's technology. Uh, basically, you've also got uh, Ripple and R3 reached a settlement agreement, and now we know R3 late, later this month or before this month, sorry, uh, the last four weeks or so, are actually doing business with uh, Ripple now, which is interesting. Okay, so Ripple uh, uh, has been bringing in more and more buyers as well. Uh, if you look at their reports that have come out, their uh, Ripple volume is going up and up and up and up, uh, XRP's volume, I should say. So, sorry, I've uh, got to talk so quickly and I'm making mistakes. But um, So, um, South Korea is one of the largest crypto markets in the world, as you know, and SBI are in those markets and Ripple's got a connection with SRB, uh, SBI, and also... Um, uh, XRP services streamline capture 50% more of the Tokyo based market as well, which is a great story. Um, again, Ripple has updated their uh, other releases of the uh, technology version. Uh, number one, Global Report basically says, uh, you know, even if Ripple uh, got, say, 10% of Swiss business, you know, their, their, you know, their XRP should be valued at $50, which is a, which is a great story. Um, I got these rates from King Blue about the XRP burn rate. If we look at the year just with current volume, it should be around uh, 2 million XRP. Um, again, uh, Japanese financial markets, you know, literally there's about 80 institutions that are now using uh, Ripple's technology. Um, also, Ripple is beating Swift on every level. Again, Swift is not a competitor of Ripple. Ripple can easily take over Swift. There is no doubt about it. Um, CEO Chris Larson says they had hundreds, signed, hundreds of signed uh, banks in production mode many, many more. Uh, CBI VC is already to go live, but they have to wait for certain rulings from the FSA, uh, Financial Services Authority, uh, for March 2019. So let's go to the next one. Uh, and these are just things that come out. There's so many things that come out um, about Ripple, it's not funny, and XRP. Uh, Ripple's executive elected to Fed's Faster Payments Task Force, and they're about only the only people from cryptocurrency that were, which is fantastic. Uh, Ripple's new money tap will dominate Japanese bank transfers. Uh, BNY Mellon, uh, you know, it looked like there's been, within this uh, article, has been mentioned of Ripple. It doesn't surprise me because a person very well known from, from Mellon uh, basically held $3 billion, uh, my understanding is $3 billion of um, XRP and died and um, obviously those three billion XRP got lost because no one knew the private key. Uh, again, Ripple Payment Network in Japan helps make better uh, better lives for the, the Thai people because the money goes through straight away. Um, another one here is National Commercial Bank of Saudi Arabia joins RippleNet, which is huge because these people uh, in 2016 did something like 36 or 37 billion in remittance, which is huge. Okay, so and also the Saudi Arabian Bank uh, Monetary Authority as well has signed an agreement with uh, Ripple as well. Uh, and, you know, Saudi Arabia is a huge market, a very, very wealthy market, I have to say. And um, they've got one of the largest... Uh, sovereign wealth funds as well so that's a very very big market for ripple indeed um so ripple uh powered money tap launches website links 60 plus banks or so um again uh pnc also has joined uh ripple net also pnc just want to add owns 20 to 22 percent of BlackRock, which is a big fund manager, a huge fund manager that manages trillions and trillions of dollars worth of money. I think BlackRock is one of the biggest fund managers around, and I think they manage something like $6 trillion worth of money. And as you'll see going forward in the news, there was some mention of BlackRock going forward and Ripple, which is interesting. Okay, RippleNet expands to 40 different countries, improving remittance and SME payments. I want to try and make this as fast as possible, guys, because I get complaints and I'm too long sometimes. 
Uh, again, PNC Bank is the first bank in the US to join uh, RippleNet. Um, Ripple adds uh, another 8 million of clients via PNC and PNC, as I said, owns BlackRock 22%, which is huge. Okay, um, Ripple has been testing with, with banks around the world, XRP pilot program, and as Brad Gullinghouse said, more, more of these banks will be added by the end of the year using XRP and uh, X-Rapid, which is a great story. As you know, there was a Swell conference in October and that was being advertised in September. Uh, Ripple, a lot of uh, exchanges are also exploring XRP as a base currency, which is great. And Coinfield was doing that. And I think Coinfield's a Canadian exchange, one of the largest Canadian exchanges. Uh, in September, Ripple was surging, as you know, and it was decoupling from Bitcoin as well. We saw a lot of decoupling. Uh, the Global Coin Report mentioned something about Ripple XRP President Trump connection, which I thought was interesting. Uh, Ripple has confirmed seven, seven partners to use XRP and X Rapid, which is a great story. And also they confirmed Bittrex, Bitso and Coins dot ph uh, to be using uh, xrp and x rapid also they confirm mercury uh, fx um, x rapid uh, cbi Corlix, idt corporation moneygram and cambridge global payments to be using x rapid as well and we're only up to the 24th of september wow amazing mm. uh, we know in september Jeb McCallum, the founder of Stellar, uh, sold billions and billions of dollars of XRP. Um, also, uh, another story, XRP could become a base uh, currency for major exchanges it, it, uh, and coin, coin field in Canada, which is a great story. Uh, also, we know that um, SIB and Ripple are together as partners and there's a big connection with Japanese and African businesses and basically remitting uh, to those businesses. And uh, they part partnered with BitPisa uh, and digital foreign exchange platforms and other uh, platforms based in Kenya, which is another story in itself. Um, again, Ripple has merged all of its three products into one single RippleNet. So that would be XCurrent, XRapid and XVIA. Um, also, uh, CX uh, also added Ripple to their platform. Uh, it's an exchange. Um, SBI Ripple Asia wins payment license for blockchain money app, which is great. Uh, Ripple uh, briefly overtakes Ethereum again to become the largest old coin in the market. And at the same time, we saw uh, XRP decoupling from Bitcoin. If Bitcoin went down, XRP was going up. Or if Bitcoin went up, XRP was going up more. Okay. So uh, again, we had Arrington say that XRP is the best cryptocurrency out there. And I agree with him totally. Um, Ripple commits a hundred, over 100 million to uh, social giving programs, which is fantastic. Um, you had the Veer CEO saying that Ripple could get to a dollar by the end of the year. Very, very bullish on Ripple. Um, also, you had another platform called FX Choice uh, did uh, has also put XRP on their platform, which is another great story in itself. Uh, now you can also buy properties with XRP. Um, also, uh, we, we had um, Catalyst Corporate Federal Credit Union also using um, XRP and is going to implement XRapid as well, uh, which represents 1,400 member credit unions, which is fantastic. Now, that's a big account in itself, a big client. Now, don't forget all these clients that um, Ripple put on, they're also paying for Ripple's technology, okay? And IT is not cheap. You know, IT costs millions and millions of dollars to implement, to put, you know, into these companies. And Ripple would be getting paid for that. And it's not just the IT itself. It's the ongoing maintenance, the IT, the ongoing, you know, transactions and everything. So Ripple would be getting a clip of all the transactions or a commission, if you want to call it that. They would be getting money hand over fist. So it's no wonder Ripple have so much money in the tin with no debt. Okay, they're in a very, very profitable company indeed uh, we did see xrp gaining the best in september 67 percent gain um at swell rbw uh, global market uh, these guys were up there uh, and these guys are huge i've got to tell you that rbw uh, global market is an international financial center uh, and it's located in the uae and these guys manage 828 billion dollars worth of money right 
and they have trillions in one of the largest sovereign wealth funds in the world. It's one of the biggest sovereign wealth funds in the world. Now, XRP, uh, sorry, Ripple had them at their conference, their Swell conference. And if you look at the clients, if you look at the people they had at that conference, they had people from Africa and everywhere. Now, you know, Africa in itself is a huge market. You know, you've got development banks over there, you've got all sorts of banks. And Africa has a problem. They need instant settlement, but also they've got in different countries of Africa, it, the exchange rate keeps going down because the finances of the country are so bad. Okay, in Africa, yes, we do have a lot of uh, people living below the poverty line, but they all have mobile phones. Okay, and if their exchange rates are going down, you know, like you've seen in you know um, Zimbabwe, where it's gone to nothing, it's shocking. They're going to buy you know Bitcoin and XRP. Okay. And if they've got phones, I'll be able to do that. So Africa, I'm not surprised that Ripple is in Africa because it's a huge, huge market, okay? Huge. All right, on the 48th, uh, Nigel Green, the CEO of Independent Financial Consulting Group, Devine, and I've said this, expressed an incredibly bullish view on uh, the future of XRP and, and really believes that XRP will get to the dollar mark, okay? Um, he said that, you know, they're just so amazingly strong in the, in the business and everything else. Now, this is a Dubai-based firm that has well over 80,000 clients, uh, high net worth clients, has 10 billion under management, and they're aware uh, of just how good Ripple is and how good they are. Um, you know, and again, they're in emerging markets as well. And, you know, if you've got people like this saying how good Ripple is and XRP, uh, you know, the proof's in the pudding. You've got all this information that keeps coming out constantly, time and time again. They keep proving themselves. And I tell you, uh, you know, I just think the information's amazing. Um, also, in their Insight report, they announced that uh, Siam Commercial Bank, a Thai bank, first domestic bank, has become the first financial institution of RippleNet to use their multi-hop feature. Um, Gullinghouse talks about X Rapids globalization and the Internet of Value. Uh, this just keeps going on. They also added another client, TransferGo, uh, who's now doing, um, you know, uh, they're now transferring funds through through Ripple's technology. Uh, Gullinghouse also explained why XRP is better than BTC. Clearly it is because BTC is mining. It's mined. You never know when it's going to settle. It's controlled by four largest miners in the world. Also, even President Trump was concerned about that, that, you know, it was controlled by four Chinese miners, which is a real problem for Bitcoin particularly, and increased costs when there's a queuing system and, that, and the miners don't val validate uh, the transactions quick enough and it costs you more money. Okay, so uh, cryptocurrency expert Philip Nunn says timing is everything and Ripple XRP can follow Bill Gates and lead in becoming the go to do, go to digital uh, currency, but he also said it was the Microsoft of crypto. Okay, that's pretty much what he said. Uh, Ripple survey says seventy five percent of uh, professionals want to use XRP. Uh, it's basically a cryptocurrency of choice. Uh, Swift uh, will be using, uh, and this is from Coin Out. Swift will use XRP to process payments using XRP, and here is the proof. And if you remember, I did a uh, video on this. Um, it was Swift's connection connection with Taz Corp, uh, Taz, Taz Group, and they were using uh, a Ripple driver, uh, an API driver, basically. And what that means is they're using Ripple's driver, which is like they call it a bus and tech talk, uh, for for live real payments. Uh, to settle through the European Central Bank. And they're using Ripple's technology to do that. Now, what that means exactly is Swift is a client of Ripple's. Swift would be paying Ripple millions of dollars in technology fees to use their system, number one, and that'll also be paying them lots of money for the transactions through that driver. So Swift, and I'll say it again, is not a competitor of Ripple. Swift need Ripple to maintain their existing business. Swift are paying Ripple to use their technology. Really, really important distinction. Okay, let's go to the next slide. And already 19 minutes has gone. Sorry, guys. I just It always just seems to go longer than I think. My apologies. Um, so again, SBI won approval. 
uh, from the regulators in Japan, and so that's a, definitely a boost for XRP and XRAPID, as the story says. Um, basically, uh, Arrington again said that you know XRP is fantastic for moving money so quickly within three seconds. Okay, XBI, SBI, and Ripple are officially a licensed payments agent, which will boost XRP's adoption. Marcus Treacher. Uh, who's obviously works at Ripple, said that Ripple is focused on creating massive interconnection throughout the world globally. Um, again, Ripple leads crypto coalition seeking government oversight, encouraging blockchain. I mean, Ripple seem to be everywhere as far as I'm concerned, everywhere. Uh, XRapid launch confirmed Coinbase listing. Um, XRP, as we know, gained 67%. Um, they're commercially viable. Um, Brad Garlinghouse talks about X Rapid. Sorry, some of this is a bit, um, you know, I've mentioned before, but anyway, I'm just picking up the news items. Mentions uh, XR, X Rapid globalization, the Internet of Value. Transfer Go is now using XRP, uh, a Ripple system, I should say. Uh, global regulatory policies took center stage on day one of Swell. Uh, and again, you know, I've mentioned that Brad says that uh, XRP is better than BTC, which I agree with totally. And talking about cross-board payments being, you know, literally a forty-seven trillion dollar market, uh, it could be even more than that. So, um, what else have I got there? So, you know, what else have I picked up here? So basically, um, let's just go to this one. Have we done all that? So that's just up until the fourth of October. So, um, you know, I, there's I'm going to go from the fourth of October, but I guess the thing is there is just so much there. And sorry if I've repeated some of those articles, but I just take them from my database. But there's just so much there, even in just a month. Um, and they're, just, they're not all the stories. You know, it just goes on, it goes on and on. So I'll come out with another quick um, video. It'll only be hopefully no longer than 20 minutes either. But um, yeah, I just want to, it's just a recap. And I like doing recaps, particularly for my own investments. I hope this helps, guys. Please do look after yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to your family and your friends. Be kind to your animals, your pussycats, all your beautiful animals, your dogs. And uh, just be kind to people in this world and make it a better place. Thank you, Susie.